Firefighters across New Brunswick rushed to a massive factory fire overnight near Heartland in the west of the province. The blaze at the Covered Bridge Potato Chip Factory began yesterday evening. CBC's Albert Delatella joins us now. Albert, take us through what we know. Well, Ellen, uh, that fire is really being felt not just uh, in the Heartland area, but really across New Brunswick uh, and beyond it is a major employer there. And just to give you an idea of the scale of that fire, have a look at this video from last night. To RCMP, they say the call came in at around uh, six o'clock. Firefighters from several departments they had to respond to that fire, just given that uh, massive scale of it. Uh, hours later, it was still uh, burning. Uh, one viewer telling us that uh, she could just see that heavy smoke, just uh, that plume of it just uh, uh, going into the air. You can see it right there, just a massive fire. Uh, police say 20 to 30 employees who were in the building, they were able to get out safely. So that's uh, uh, some good news in all of this. Uh, we have a map to show you of where this happened. The Cover Bridge Potato Chips uh, Factory, it's uh, near Heartland, New Brunswick, uh, specifically in Waterville. Uh, it's just off the Trans-Canada Highway on the western edge of the province, as you mentioned, and near the border of the state of Maine, the U.S. state of Maine. And as I mentioned, this is a popular brand of uh, potato chips. And just to give you an idea or to remind viewers of what they look like, there are some of their products there. They're the sort of premium chips that you see in many grocery stores, convenience stores. And the company is owned by a fourth generation potato farming family. They turned to making potato chips in 2009. And we have a, a photo that a viewer actually just sent into our newsroom you can see the state of of the structure right there just uh, utterly destroyed. Uh, police say, in fact, that it's suspected the, the facility cannot be saved. Uh, the cause of that fire is still under investigation. And as you said, Albert, uh, the impact of this fire is being felt by so many across the province. And it isn't just about the loss of the factory behind this popular chip brand. It's a major employer in the area. What can you tell us about that? It is. And, and just so the, the Heartland area or, or the, 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 the town of Heartland, the population is just about 1,000 people. That employer employs about 100 uh, people, according to uh, uh, numbers from the government a few years ago. So really just a substantial portion of that town. Town. In fact, uh, the mayor of Heartland, uh, Tracy Adermershant, uh, she spoke with CBC News earlier today and she described what it was like seeing that destruction and she uh, named uh, the owner Albright family by name uh, in this uh, clip. Oh, it's a feeling of great loss. I drove by the uh, site this morning and it's one thing to see pictures of the flames and the fire. It's another to see, it's another to see the loss uh, the day after and um, we're feeling a great sense of grief for the Albright family. They've uh, had great success uh, worldwide with their potato chip branding, and uh, they've done a fantastic job in developing the business that they have. And there is some artistic reaction to that uh, that fire as well. Uh, 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 you can see that still there uh, uh, from uh, Fredericton uh, cartoonist Don Mockler. You can see those uh, storm chips, which is one of the chips they're very known for, uh, appearing to cry as a result of that uh, devastating fire, uh, uh, a feeling that no doubt is uh, echoed um, among many of the people in New Brunswick today. Ellen. Yeah, such sad news for so many there. Thanks, Albert, for the update. You're welcome. CBC's Albert Dilatella.